from KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. Welcome back. If your vehicle sustained damage from the storms which blew in a couple of weeks ago, you're not alone. And the last thing you want to do is do a deal with a shady hell chaser posing as a legitimate company. Michelle Mills with the BBB is here to tell us a few things we can do to steer clear of a shady dent repair companies. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing excellent today. Yeah. You know, so what is a hell chaser and why is somebody landing here in East Texas? So a hail chaser is somebody who is keeping track of the storms and hail damage. And as soon as they see an area is hit, they flock to that area. Some with good intentions of really helping the people uh, get through that. And some, some have not so good intentions. So, and they just target the people here wherever the hail damage is. So you'll see them in our area quite often because this, this is our storm season or getting into that season. Yeah. So um, we will see them, we'll see, um, and what we'll see uh, is uh, you might see, you've seen a lot of pop-up shops, um, come into a lot of temporary locations. You've maybe you've received lots of phone calls um, from, uh, it could be a robocall, it could be a live person saying, hey, did you receive hail damage? Well, give me your credit card information and we'll set up an appointment for you or we'll put you on that waiting list. Or you might have seen a ton of ads pop up on your social media feeds um, and elsewhere. And again, some of those are legitimate and some of them are just trying to take your information or your money. Yes, ma'am. So what are some of the shady things that you've had reported to your office? Yes, so the, the phone calls are, are one thing. Um, you know, somebody calling and saying, give me your information, we will and, and put a deposit down um, and we'll reserve your spot in line to get your stuff done and you may never hear from them again right but now they have your money um, the other thing that you might see is somebody approaching you in the parking lot um, and saying hey I can repair that damage for you please be careful when you're when somebody's selling you anything in a parking lot <laughs> you know you really want to check them out before you do business with anybody yes ma'am so what are some things we can do to help you know stay safe whenever those guys approach you or call you so the first thing you do is call your insurance company and file a claim. That will just expedite the process once you do find a company that you want to, to work with. Um, the other thing is, is watch out for unsolicited, unsolicited offers, meaning that you didn't do the research to choose somebody, that somebody just approached you, again, like in that parking lot, or from a, and just an out-of-the-blue phone call, or from, an, for a, from a private message, or anything that you did not actually reach out or do the research to choose somebody. So watch out for that. You always want to do research before you spend any money and then you know we have all these shops coming in um, you want really want to be careful about um, you know where they're from and more about um, convenience if you, they you know you may be able to get in to see them but let's say later on you um, find that they miss something. Well, either you have to go to where their headquarters is, which is probably not in the East Texas area, um, or you have to wait for them to come to see you if they can even do that. So again, you might want to take go to bbb.org, check out the company name. Also look up the phone number because sometimes you'll find a company that has several names but using that phone number and then you want to look at the, the reports on those companies as well because you want to work with somebody that has a good uh, history of doing good business and has good relationships with their customers. Yeah, every time I've been driving out here I've been seeing pop-up hell. A lot of them. Thing. So yeah. was, what does it mean to you and how do you feel, you know, just being able to help people stay safe with all these different scams going around? Man, you know, money, you've worked with, you, you've worked really hard for money and I, we were just honored to be able able to help people make good choices with that. You know, uh, we want you to, we want you to spend it wisely. Yes, ma'am, is there anything else you want to add? Um, if you, before you spend money, before you make any donations, go to bbb.org. We really want you to help, help you make good decisions uh, with, with, with your finances. Yes, ma'am, yeah. thank you so much for coming here thank today you. and helping the East Texas community. If you need more information, you can go to that website right here on your screen.